Hey everybody, welcome back for more I Would Camp That. I'm in a small town called Sundry right now. I'm just waiting for my buddy Adam to get here. He's been bombing around in his rig, going on his own adventures and getting out on his own explorations. And he found a spot out by here that he wants to show me. So we're gonna go to that spot tonight. I drove out here last night after work, rolled in here pretty late, and I just did a uh, an urban stealth camp down a road by a gas station and a couple of fast food restaurants. Had a great sleep. My sleep's been really screwy this week, so this was like the best sleep that I that I've had like all week. So it's funny how it takes you know sleeping out of the back of a truck to get yourself sorted and uh, actually get a decent sleep. Oh, I think that's Adam coming down the road. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely Adam. That's not a blue Dodge Ram though. What's going on? Hey, hey Adam, I only say this out of concern, but that thing I said about the dog and your truck and stealing your truck, you know I was only kidding, right? No, it was pretty real. So there's a dog ripping around in a stolen blue Dodge Ram right now. That's correct. Well, not stolen, he claimed it. <laughs> so this is Adam's new adventure vehicle. He's, he's a Jeep camper now. That's right, I switched over to the Jeep. The Jeep life. It's a lot uh, to maneuver. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm excited to see your rig. Um, I guess we could get to where we're going. Probably be a little quieter, and then you could show off your rig and what you've done with it so far, yeah, right? Absolutely, and then I'll have it all like set up. Sweet. It'll be awesome. All right. So, what's the game plan, Adam? Uh, game plan's pretty simple. We're gonna head over towards the base of Limestone Mountain. Uh, it's a pretty easy trail to get to. It's all gravel anyway. Okay. Uh, so neither of us should have any issue. It'll be about, I think it's an hour drive to get there, and then going up the mountain will be about another hour. So we're about two hours out. Oh wow. There's no smoke from forest fires now, so hopefully this time we'll actually get a good view of the surrounding area, because last time sucked. Well, it's a good thing we fueled up last night. Adam's gonna lead the way, and looking forward to seeing this place. Gonna be going up a mountain or a hill, and I'm looking forward to seeing his rig when we get up there too. But in the meantime, let's roll. That's a big cow. Look at that cow. <laughs> They're all just chilling out here, just living their best lives. Such a crazy transition. So we, it was nothing but farmland for quite a while. And then suddenly the road just went to like gravel, dirt road. And it just, boom, like nothing but crown land out here, ATV trails. Like, like normally I find you gotta drive a little while, you know, especially if it's farmland. Like in Southern Alberta, you could drive for hours and you'll never find a thing. But out here, it's it's just like, boom, you just hit a point and okay, everybody's land is done and now it's like Alberta's playground. That's really cool to see. I've, I've never been out here before, so this is just a whole other world of, of possibilities for us in the future. We made it. Limestone Mountain. Beautiful, breathtaking, straight out of a postcard or a painting. View of the mountains with the heavy, thick clouds hanging over them. Adam's checking to make sure none of his stuff uh, moved around while we were going up the mountain. 
Yeah, the biggest issue I had was with my fridge and my portable battery because yeah. like, uh, the bumps would really move them around. So oh, I yeah. got some straps to keep them in there. I just had to find the right combination of how to tie it in. Yeah, straps, bracers, or even just like packing everything really tight so it can't move is super important. Yeah, like my current plan is to get those like little eyelet things. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Okay. Uh, D-rings? I don't know. But yeah. essentially they'll just screw into the wood thing I have in the back and then that way I can just tie things over that way cool that'll be a lot better okay yeah. do you mind if we uh, take a look at your rig ah uh, sure since we we basically have to do the uh adam's new rig adam's thing all over rig. again because you don't have your old truck yeah, anymore it's, it's pretty good um i got a winch up front um which was a pain in the butt to install so like the factory uh steel bumper um winch plate you have to grind down the back I guess the passenger left side of it. Okay. Um, in order to get the worn winch fit. And I think that's with any winch really, because the other winch I had had the same issue, but I didn't know I oh. had to grind down the back. I thought it was just the you know cheap knockoff design that was having issues. So I bought oh. this one, which was twice as expensive as the last one, which I <laughs> really wish I knew beforehand, but whatever. Because it fits now, I'm happy. It's fairly reliable. Well, and it's one of those things where if you need it, it's going to be worth every, yeah, every nickel exactly, and dime exactly. that you put into it. I don't want to cheap out too much. <clears throat> now let's yeah. see your sleep space yeah so my sleep space is right here currently there's a bunch of bags and stuff on it but i bought a specific mattress that fits in on the right side okay um, just right here i can I guess move it on the left but the left is kind of taken up okay that's perfect for me i have no one else sleeping in there so it's pretty comfortable yeah um I'm five seven and i just barely fit uh with the seat pushed all the way forward and everything so if okay you're any taller than that it probably would kind of suck yeah um, this also being the uh, electric or uh, plug-in hybrid version of the Jeep. Um, when you put the seats down, there's about a six inch gap. Okay. Uh, from the trunk floor here to the top of the seats. Okay. So I built this sleep platform out of plywood and two by fours, and then just put like a really inexpensive rug on top and just stapled it in. Okay. And I find that works really well. Okay. Um, it literally was probably the cheapest part of the build. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, I have my uh, fridge right here uh it's strapped in with these uh bungee cords um that yeah, works pretty well i had to like have a bungee cord go around the pillar otherwise this thing would always kick out this way mm -hmm. and then it would always knock um these cables loose for charging and you know keeping the thing running so that was a pain in the butt but finally right. i have it figured out and it's good how many charging ports do you have just the one just or? the one back there yeah Okay, that's nice to have because then you can just charge everything while you drive. Yeah, pretty much. I just have the battery charging off that, and then everything else is powered by the battery, and it works pretty right. well. I'm, I haven't had any issues. I brought the solar panel too, but I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to use it. It's just yeah. Need to. Yeah, for sure. The solar panel, I find I use them more for longer trips. Yeah. I, I, I might. I mean, we've got so much cloud yeah, cover in the sky. I. Oh, here's some guys. Oh, there's somebody on a side by side over there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so have you had much of a chance to sleep back here? Oh yeah, yeah, I've slept here quite a few times now. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I've slept uh, back here a total of, I think, four different times. Oh, okay. Uh, each time being improved from the last. Yeah, that's the best way to do it, is to just get out and do it and find out what works and what doesn't. And some of your best laid plans will work great, and then some of them you'll be like, what was I thinking? Exactly. That's and cool. the other uh, thing that I did was I like, cut specific reflective panels for the uh, window to A, keep the heat in, and B, keep the light out, which is excellent because I hate sleeping in bright spaces. Well, I remember when you camped in your truck that you had oh. for like a week. Yeah. Um, in the morning, like the sun hit you pretty yeah, hard. I like was I'm like 4 a.m. and I'm already awake because it's so bright in there. Yeah. It was, 5 it was awful. I don't I don't like sleeping in light. I hate yeah. It so much. No, it's really, it's really important. Yep. The other thing I have back here is this little table. Uh, super useful for cooking and doing whatever else on. Oh, that is cool. So I got this little cutting board. Uh, it was like 200 bucks off Amazon versus like, wow. It's just like a knockoff version versus the full version was like, I think it was uh, $600. And I'm like, why would I ever spend that much money when this works just as well? Yeah, I mean, it just depends how you're going to use it, but yeah, no, that's that's awesome, dude. Yeah, so I was, really, I was like very minor drilling. I wanted to drill into the plastic, whereas the uh, the holes in the door are already there, so you just have to like screw them in, so it worked perfect. 
That's um, basically your kitchen counter, your kitchen yep. table, a cutting board. Yeah, it's everything I need, so I really like it. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I'd really change is I'd probably put mosquito netting on this uh, entire backside because I find when it's um, warmer and there's bugs everywhere, they all fly in as I'm cooking, and it's really annoying. But yeah, yeah, but yeah. It being cold, not a big deal right now because there's no bugs at all, which is great. Yeah, skeeters are always, uh, no matter how good you get at camping, they're always a struggle in some yes. way, shape, or form. They, fi- they find a way. They find a way into everything. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm pretty happy with the setup. A lot more than the truck. It's a lot more nimble and I think more capable um, off-roading. Specific- well, it's a Jeep. It's meant for you know off-roading, so I right. really like it. And the parts, finding parts for these things is so much better. Aftermarket support is fantastic. Oh, Versus okay. The truck, when I was like looking for parts, everything had to be fabricated. How are you liking your fridge and your... Uh... Did you have that Blue Yeti last time we went out? No. So uh, the Blue Yeti is new. Um, I was trying to find like inexpensive, portable battery options. And I thought about building my own. Yeah. And I really wanted to. But I found that the price was fairly comparable um, if you used a lithium-ion battery. If you used like a lead-acid battery, you would save a lot of money. But I didn't really want to do that because it's heavy as heck. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted like something that's already ready to go and it's warranted. So I ended up getting a pre-made unit. Um, okay. It has 768 watt hours. Um, so oh, wow. It's, it's not, I don't know, it's good for me. Like I'm able to plug in and drive, so I don't need like a 2000 watt hour unit. Yeah. Um, it works. I like it. Yeah, that's a nice thing. If you know you're spending a lot of time on the road, like when you told me, because I, I forgot to plug the camera batteries in. And yeah. then when you said we had like almost a two hour drive to get here, yeah. I was like, oh, that's perfect. I can charge yeah, everything works. and my Jackery will charge itself while I'm driving. Yep. And I find that if I just run the fridge off of the battery, it will last about 28 hours, which okay. is, you know, not a whole lot. But if you drive around, it doesn't really matter too much because it charges the battery relatively quick. Yeah. Uh, and then if it's a sunny day, you just pop the solar panel out and you can go indefinitely as long as you have some sunlight. Very cool. So that's good. The fridge I like, um, it was just uh, inexpensive. It's just an Apical fridge, but I got it from RFX Truck Accessories because they had a sale on. Okay. Which is, it's just the same fridge, just rebranded. Okay. Um, it can go to minus 20 if I want it to. Uh, it's got battery protection modes if you run it off your uh, car battery, but... Uh, personally, I don't like how low it lets the lead acid battery get because it oh. gets like 11, uh, what is it? Do you mind if I just pop it open? Yeah, you can pop it open. 11.8 volts, which is pretty low. Oh, very oh, cool. Oh, you got one of those egg containers. Yeah, it like was what like we... $3 off Amazon. Yeah, we have, uh, we have, we have one of those too. Yeah, it's awesome. I, I actually really like the egg container yeah. a lot. Well, I'm glad you're happy with your rig. I'm glad you've had a chance to sleep in it a few times and, yep. uh. Yeah, it's exciting to see. It'll be exciting to see how it uh, how it develops. That, how it holds up over time. Adam's just making some room in his passenger seat. All right. I haven't seen the uh, front cab interior of this yet. It smells really nice in here. It still smells like a new vehicle. Yeah, I put a uh, these smelly things in there. Oh, the vent one, yeah. yeah gotcha. Okay, so we're going back the way we came. We did go for a bit of a walk down the hill and it was getting pretty slick. Definitely ankle breaking territory. Even with how uh, cool it is, I blows my mind that there's nobody up here. Yeah, there's no one up here at all, it's wild. Yeah. But you can see like other mountains there. You can see trails that lead up them. So there's got to be ways to get there. Oh, well, for like, sure. Arch hills. I guess those, those aren't really mountains, but yeah, really interesting. Well, definitely a lot of side roads we could have stopped and explored on the way here. So oh, so many, so many side roads. Maybe tomorrow that's what we'll do. We'll uh, leave early and we'll just go explore places. I yeah, for sure. I wouldn't mind getting some more markers on my map out here.
Okay, so we've come down to this point on the road and I noticed you're distinctly pointing towards not the road. Yes, we're gonna go off road. This is why we're friends, Adam. Yeah. Should Among other I've things. I've never, <laughs> never gone this way, so we'll see, see how it is. Yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll get stuck right here. I <laughs> get stuck right here. Oh no. That'd be hilarious. Oh no. Hang on. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll do this on four low. Do you have it in four by four? Yeah, it's uh, I had it in four by four, but now I have a locker on. See, like it makes a huge difference, eh? Yeah, if that had been my truck, we would have been we would have been I would have been sleeping there. Yeah, fair enough. I'm like, well, this is where I'm sleeping, at least it's level. <laughs> at least it's level. Oh. Oh dear, I'm getting anxiety. <laughs> and up we go. It's hard to see this on the trip. Yeah, I'm having to like adjust the GoPro so we can. Oh, oh. Okay, so that's quite a dip. And that's the pitch and roll? Yeah, so right now we're pitching down about 15, 16, 18. Oh, wow. Degrees. But that's not too, it seems like a lot, but it's not <laughs> that bad. The that, most I've had was about 20. 20, 25, I think. That's where you start uh, sweating bullets and you're that's like, uh oh. That's you're sweating bullets. And like now I can't see what's <laughs> in front of you, which is annoying, but you know, there's nothing really major. I think I see some wild horses up ahead. Yeah, I do. <laughs> They're looking right at us. That's hilarious. Both guys are stupid. Yep, there go the wild horses. Yep. So majestic. Very. So proud. <laughs> we come in peace. I don't believe you. <laughs> Adam says to follow the road as we distinctly go off the road. <laughs> Where we're going, we won't need roads. We're going, there ain't any roads. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you can see all the mud. Yeah. I'm just stuck on this log because I didn't hit it fast enough. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like caught on something. Under <laughs> that would have been bad. You can see like I've already cut. Okay. Well, we've made it this far. You feeling confident you can get through oh, that? Yeah, yeah. I'll get through it. All right, here we go. There you go, that's how it's done. We've hit a point that's testing Adam's off-roading skills. Very much so. The mud is flying, the window is up for that reason. Everybody say a prayer. Oh man. It is. You're breaking out the winch. Breaking out the winch. That there. So that tree there. So grab the strap. This will be the first time you've used the winch, eh? I've used it a few times, but not to get oh. my cell phone stuff. Oh, I've to get other people. Get other people out. Well, hey, it'll be cool to get a demonstration. Okay, he's got the winch running. This is really cool. I'd say Adam is embracing the uh, vehicle camping life with full enthusiasm. Be a bad time for that tree to fall over. Get past, it looks like he got past that uh, that dip, eh? Yeah. Excellent. That was a good investment. Pull myself a little bit more forward here. Yeah.
making progress. Excellent. Oh, 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 yeah, buddy. Yeah. Right on. Ha <laughs> ha. You uh, smoothed that out pretty good. I smoothed that out real good. Wow. What this means, Justin, huh? it means we have to make it to the top this way. Otherwise, we have to come back this way. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this would be one of my... I, I don't think I would camp this. I don't think I would camp on this either. Oh, that's funny. I got this from like Princess Auto for like 40 bucks. For the whole, it's, uh, it's good up to 10,000 pounds. Perfect. Wow. My winch is also 10,000 pounds, so that's more than enough. Yeah. Yeah, no, that'll serve your needs quite nicely. Oh, easily. Yeah, because most Jeeps, <coughs> to my knowledge, usually use around 8,000 pound winches. Yeah. And actually, the new 2024 models have the 8,000 pound winch as, an, as a factory option now. Surprised it took so long. Probably just needed the Bronco to come out with its own factory winch and snorkel. Yeah. Uh, in order to push Jeep to do the same freaking thing, but hey, I just well, I'm just an angry Albertan. Better, better to have more than less too. I mean, you know, yeah. better like the extra bit of weight, the extra bit of power doesn't hurt. Well, so funny you mentioned weight. The uh, the Jeep that I have is six thousand oh. pounds. That's yeah. heavy for an off roader. Like usually they're yeah. not that, not six thousand pounds. Um, but because that battery is in there, it weighs a lot. <laughs> yeah. But hey, it gets me to work for like a quarter of the time. Yeah, look at that. Straight up this line. <laughs> right through the ground. I'm glad I got a nice pair of slippers in the rig because uh, yeah, right. these shoes definitely are not coming in the rig. Yeah. Adam just went into the back and... Being on a slant like this is testing his sleep space because his fridge wanted to go sliding out. Oh, everything's sliding back. Now Gravity is heartless. This, we don't need the radio. So it's kind of a straight shot back to camp. But it's pretty straight back to camp. Straight it's up to camp. Straight up. To camp. <laughs> so we're now going to make up a lot of the elevation that we need. <clears throat> Let's see, we're at 19 degrees, 23 degrees, 28. Oh man, oh, some, something in the back just <laughs> slid. That was probably my battery. Wow. <laughs> 30 is the highest oh. I've gone now. Well, hey, this is a good stress test if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff. Yep, absolutely. And I quite like going up steep hills. I don't like going down. This does have a yeah. downhill descent control, which would be very tested on this. But... Uh, I'm trying to make sure that I'm pointing at like a part of the windshield that's not like caked in mud. <laughs> so I feel like I can't see anything over the hood. That's why this front camera is so in. Huh. Oh dear. Oh boy. I hope that was nothing. <laughs> but yeah, this is the dump site, so we can get out and take a look here. Especially yeah. Especially now that I can go and look underneath my vehicle after hearing that. Make sure much. nothing's damaged. Nothing's leaking. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> she earned her steps today. Yep. Oh, look at that view, man. Oh, That's insane. Wow. So we went through all of that. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of off to the side, but we went through like essentially that. Uh, just all mud and sticks and everything else. Huh. We're now going steep. Look at that. Oh my That's gosh. Steep. So uh, as long as we don't start slipping to the side, we'll be fine. Huh. Oh boy. That's uh... <laughs> Godspeed. I'm 
I'm gonna switch over to the pitch and roll mode. Yep. 20, we were at 24 for a split second. Here's a side view. The GoPro has a feature where it kind of just levels out what it's seeing. So even if I hold it at an angle, it's gonna level it out. At least it should be doing that, but let's go. Oh man. Oh boy. Okay. So nice and slow. I'm go through all this goddamn tree. Yeah, I think I can miss roll up the window. <laughs> Definitely roll up the window. Pine needles. Up close and personal. Man. We are really close to that uh, side of that hill. Oh, I doubt it. Yeah. Bad time to say it, but hope the ground's stable. <laughs> that's uh, pretty steep down, yeah. But we got lots of room, so that's good. Okay, so my concern is coming up to here, how much space do we have to turn left? It actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it would be. That's good. Yeah, mostly, mostly all rock. There's another trail here. Huh, looks like there's two ways up. Uh, I'm thinking we go left. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Oh no. There's the backup camera. <laughs> this is definitely, there's no turning back now. Just committing to it, committing to the goal. Oh my gosh. We have to commit to the goal. <laughs> oh man, isn't that wild? Always rolling. All that matters is what we do with the time that is given to us. Absolutely. Okay, there we go. So you made it past that. Oh, good. That was scary. I, 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 I legit, <laughs> like, was your stomach in knots? It wasn't in knots. I was Fine. just like, oh, okay, let's, uh, uh, I was just like, we have to go forward because I don't want to reverse down this. That would be awful. Yeah. Well, not to mention you, you reverse and you drag all those rocks with you. You I mean, drag the rocks with you and like trying to slow uh, down sucks and you kind of slide a bit, right? Yeah, especially being that close to the edge of the cliff. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm actually glad we decided to do some off-roading because like initially I was like, really wanted to come up this way, but because I'd never been this way. It's fun. It's, it's yeah. The final ascent up the mountain. It's crazy to think how much ground we covered. Oh. Oh. Nice. That was the worst of it. Good job. My jeans got a little bit of a little bit of muck on them. <laughs> well, we made it back to camp. We didn't go for an egg roll down a cliff. I still call it a good day.